My name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Coast Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadong Stubborn, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from the Alton Towers Resort. This is on the latest construction on the world of David Williams, uh, which is set to open in spring 2020. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you share the channel around with your friends, family and on social media. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So, I'm going to be talking about what has been happening over the Christmas period on the construction site now bit of history for you about this so this is a brand new area uh, set to open in spring 2020 it's themed around the David Williams children's books um, this is set to replace Cloud Cuckoo which has been operating at the park since 2009 um, one of the main headline attractions is taking place or the headline attraction is taking place in the Wobble World building uh, used more recently for House of Monsters at Scarefest uh, there are set to be other attractions to help coincide with the main headline attraction um, And we're going to be talking about what has happened on the construction site So came across some stuff on the Facebook Alton Towers talk like chat enthusiast group uh, on Facebook and basically some interesting stuff has come out about the recent updates now on the roof of the Cloud Cook Clan Theatre um, There are a couple of images on online on Facebook that I saw uh, where some of the grass has been taken off the roof of the old Ice Age 4D theatre. Now this is the old Cloud Cuckoo theatre that for 2012 was transformed into Ice Age the 4D experience. Uh, it's been Ice Age 4D experience ever since uh, and it was closed back in 2016 for the Towers Living Care project. Nothing has happened with the theatre ever since. It, uh, for, in the most recent couple of years it's been used basically as a colourful backdrop for the Frog Hopper that was moved from its old location near the Gallopers or across from the Gallopers to in front of the theatre. Now, with the grass being removed from the roof, it does say to us that something is going to happen inside that theatre space, but not many people are suggesting it will be a 4D film. Many people are suggesting that this is going to be a brand new live show. Now, we haven't had a brand new live show in there since the Go 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 show that operated in the 2011 season. Now, I didn't actually get to experience that show, but I remember it as a young kid going to experience the uh, old Cred Street Theatre uh, and the Cloud Cuckoo Clan Theatre when it first opened in 2009. Um, so I've got plenty of memories inside that building and of course doing Ice Age 4D Experience as well. Uh, it was quite a difference being back in that building when the 4D Experience came in. Uh, so it was very different uh, to what it is obviously now, you know, standing and operating. But I'm sure we're going to see some kind of live show in there. Many people suggesting that Mr. Stink, one of the David Williams books, uh, could be the live show going into that uh, arena. Obviously we'll know more information when Alton Towers releases that information uh, later on this year. Um, I think with this being a new area for families, I think with CBB's Land in 2014, of course that replaced the old, old McDonald's Farmyard area uh, that last operated in the 2013 season. Um, You've got to think on the premise of that and the fact that January, it was around sort of start of January to mid January, they sort of released information about specific attractions in the area. So I've got a good feeling that January will be the month where Alton Towers will reveal new information about the specific attractions in the world of David Williams. Now, in terms of other stuff that's been going on, uh, there's like an orange, like little kiosk type building, like a little mini building uh, near the driving school. A uh, bit of news actually about the driving school. Uh, that doesn't look like it's been deconstructed. If that was not going to be in the area, that would have been deconstructed by now. So uh, that would have been demolished by now. So it's pretty clear that the driving school is going to stay and it's just going to be themed to one of the specific books. Um, the Gallopers is down for its winter maintenance, so it's very clear that that could potentially be staying as well and just be rethemed again to one of the children's books. Uh, there's a little orange kiosk that's near to the driving school. Uh, I think it was in another location as well, or, or there was something. Uh, it's either the orange kiosk or there was something else um, that was in a different location, but it's been moved close to the driving school, so that could potentially mean we could see that chance. If it's the orange kiosk, we could see that transform into like a little mini stall. Um, I mean, there's other things that could happen as well, but I mean, we'll guess we'll have to sort of keep progress on that. 
Um, but there we go then. So the Galpus is down for winter maintenance. That could be coming back. Uh, grass being removed from the roof of the RSH 4D, also known as the Calco Clan Theatre. That could potentially be a new live show or a different 4D film. Uh, but I think it's more likely now to be a live show with the rumours and speculation going around. Of course, driving school still in place, so that's pretty much going to be rethemed and staying. Uh, so Alton Towers over the next couple of months are going to sort of, you know, transform it, retheme it, uh, and things like that. Uh, and of course, in the headline attraction building, we know work is going underway inside there, but we have no idea what's going to happen in that building yet. Uh, so it's all a bit of a mystery still about this new area, but we're going to get more information as soon as we can. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news room update on the world of David Williams. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you share the channel around with your friends, family, and on social media. And make sure you also keep tuned for more theme park news updates. I'm Coach Chow, Kit on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.